Hey guys, welcome to your uh, general reading for Aries. This is going to be for your May 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look at uh, the person that you are dealing with, was dealing with. How did this, uh, how did this person did you, did you dirty? And then we'll finish off the read to see what karma is this person is currently facing or will face moving forward. So this is a karma reading. You can apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch turtles if you want. It could be karma that you're cycling through. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored, uh, specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So Aries. The person that Aries is dealing with, was dealing with, how did this person do Aries dirty? How did this person do Aries dirty for uh, June 2024 for Aries? For Aries. Judgment Sagittarius energy with the Emperor Aries energy. I feel like this is you, Aries. I feel like you came to a realization that in the situation that you're in, you are wasting your time with this individual. Okay, you know, there could have been a lack of loyalty, a lack of respect here. And I feel like because of that, I feel like you made a decision to walk away here. Okay, I mean, this person could already be facing their karma because of the way that they treated you. You know, just a lack of respect, you know, just, uh, you know, a lack of uh, moral compass, you know. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Eight of Cups, Two of Wands. Could be a situation that this person made a decision to walk away from you to be with somebody else here, okay? Yeah, I, I do feel like there was a situation that it was just like, it just kept happening over and over and over and over again. With the Judgment card, basically you made a change so that, you know, this change that you made, it's a decision that you would never go back on. Uh, and that is the karma that this person is facing or will face. Tell me about the judgment card. Five of swords. Yeah, I feel like the situation that you're in with this person, there was a lot of mind games here. There was a lot of manipulation, okay? I do feel like this person always tried to sweet talk their way out of trouble here, okay? So, you know, I feel like this person's karma is that, you know, this person will never learn their lessons because this person doesn't own up to their mistakes. This person does not take responsibility for their actions here, okay? The Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Hierophant and the Magician here. I feel like this person was only looking out for their own selfish needs here. I feel like since you left this individual or that since you separated from this indiv individual here, Aries, I feel like you've been a lot happier. I feel like you feel like like you were blocked and now you're unblocked and that you guys are manifesting the life that you want right now. Eight of Cups and the Strength card, Leo Energy. Took you some courage to walk away from this person. Yeah, I just feel like this person's behavior, you know, hasn't really quite changed. Like I said, this person doesn't really have the capacity to take responsibility for their actions and learn from the uh, learn from their mistakes here you know i feel like one of the things i'm getting here is i feel like this person played a lot of games here you know they told you that you guys were together and then you know this person was out there exploring other options you know so what karma is this person uh, currently facing a will face moving forward we kind of touched on it touched on it so let's see what else what karma is this person currently facing or will face moving forward for June 20? Wow. Well, June 2024. The moon and the hangman. 
this person's looking at this, themselves in the mirror, because of what transpired between you and them, they don't like what they see here. Six of Swords and the Three of uh, Wands. But I feel like this person's also going to kind of sweep it under the rug. They're not going to pay any attention to it. They're not going to do anything to change or learn from their behaviors. And that is the karma that this person's experienced because I feel like their spirit guides are asking them to face what they need to face in order for them to fix what they need to fix so that they can have healthy relationships with others here. This person does not have any self-respect for themselves. When they will have when someone doesn't have any self-respect for themselves, they don't have respect for others. Knight of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius, Energy, the Hermit, Virgo energy. This person refuses to introspect, self-reflect, and do some soul searching here. This is the type of individual that would that would take shortcuts in life so that they don't do have to do it the hard way you, you know what i mean and in life there are no shortcuts when you take shortcuts you just yeah you, there's this person has no capacity to learn and grow and evolve the moon and the lovers here the hangman and the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus of virgo I, I i also feel like this person doesn't love themselves This person has to work on self-love and self-respect here. Yeah, there's a lack of that. And I, I feel like they don't just treat you this way. This person runs around treating other people like this. You know, the uh, cash counter person at CVS, you know, the waiter or the waitress at the uh, restaurant, you know, I do feel like this person comes off, you know, kind of like, I do feel like this person is a pretty chill person, but I do feel like this person's also very rude, you know? So... Uh, everything is a problem, you know, everything is a problem. This person's always looking for, for problems here, you know, complaining, constantly complaining here with the Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups, the Three of Wands here, and the Ace of Swords. I, I feel like this person has a tendency to just wreck everything that's good in their life, you know, whether it's friendships, whether it's a family situation, relationships here. I feel like this person's kind of like seeing the truth, okay? But I feel like this person's not doing anything to resolve it, though. Not doing anything to change it. The Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Devil. Wow. Capricorn energy. The Hermit. And the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This person's completely ignoring their dark side here. This person is looking at themselves in the mirror and they're not liking it, but they're not, uh, they're ba basically avoiding the work that they need to do in order for them to transmute this karma that they are facing or that they are accumulating here, okay? Um, you know, if you guys are separated, this person will try and come back to apologize. Uh, the ending of this connection is not sitting well with them because, you know, I feel like, you know, I feel like they don't have anybody to you know, lean on or, or even control. All right. So, uh, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did leave a comment down in the comment section below, like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.